These observations lend support to our findings that no constitutional basis exists for exclusive state authority over health regulation. The Tenth Amendment does not grant exclusive control over does not grant states exclusive control over health uh, health issues, as the Supreme Court has historically upheld federal measures in areas under traditional state control where Congress has the concurrent right to regulate under one of its enumerated constitutional powers, including an impermissible violation of the Interstate Commerce Clause. Here. The growth of health services into an international commercial industry places state regulation in direct conflict with the federal commerce power. Time does not permit us to go into detailed case analysis covered in our paper, but our examination leads us to conclude that not only is there a basis for concurrent federal control, but um, also that state regulation over interstate delivery of health is arguably unconstitutional under the Dormant Commerce Clause. And this is so for the following reasons. It places an excessive burden on interstate commerce, and no exceptions to such infringement exist, such as unique characteristics to location, explicit federal law preemption, or the lack of lesser burdensome alternatives to achieve the same public policy goals. Next, we turn to consideration of national and international alternatives. In the context of the US, the Constitution provides grounds for federal involvement. First, the Commerce Clause may be invoked to authorize federal action. Second, the spending power grants Congress broad authority to spend for the general welfare. Proposals for national regulatory reform include the transfer of regulatory authority to the federal government over interstate telemedicine matters, and we believe this would be an effective solution for several reasons. First, the issuance of uniform standards and requirements by a central entity would reduce transaction costs by limiting the need to comply with different regulatory regimes. Second, delimited, uh, limited de facto national standardization already exists to a certain extent. And third, a uniform system of delivery of healthcare is already in place in other nations and regions, demonstrating the success of such a model on an operational level. Proposals for international regulatory reform um, include various options, but baseline is that we um, support the establishment of a supranational regulatory authority. Uh, several options include the following on this list here. Um, the first one, in an ideal world, um, countries would